If you work in SAP day by day, then your day may sound like this. In the morning, you open up your SAP GUI and you connect to an SAP system. Then during the day, you open many sessions, run many transactions, sometimes you close some unnecessary sessions, then a bit later you open new ones and this goes all day long. Finally, at the end of your day, you close your SAP GUI and then your computer also. If you run only a few transactions per day, then you're probably okay. But if your day looks like that I showed you previously, then you need to be more efficient to handle all of your responsibilities. For this, I collected seven different, so to say, shortcuts that can boost up your work and let you having enough time to handle all of your activities. Let's try them out one by one. First, let me show you how to manage the cursor. When we open up a new session, the system focuses the cursor onto the command field by default. But there are cases, for example, when we select and click on different elements on the screen and the command field loses the focus. But what if we want to run a transaction immediately? Use the keys Ctrl and Slash. It focuses the cursor onto the command field in no time and we can execute the desired function immediately. So if the command field lost the focus and you want to run a transaction, just use the keys Ctrl and Slash. Whenever you are running a transaction in a session and you need a new session, you don't need to push that star window button up there, you only need to hit the keys Ctrl and Plus and it will immediately open up a new session or let's say a new window that you can use to execute another transaction. So remember new session control and plus. You can run a transaction in a new session in one step without opening any session with the help of the slash o prefix. If the cursor doesn't focus on the command field first hit the keys remember Ctrl and slash, then type slash O and the transaction that we want to execute VA23 into the command field and run it. Here we go, we still have the old session that is for displaying an inquiry and we also have the new session that is for displaying a quotation. So remember to execute the transaction in a new window, use the transaction with the slash o prefix. And what if we don't want to open a new session and we only want to execute the transaction in the current session as we're using it? If the cursor doesn't focus on the command field, first hit the keys Ctrl and slash. Then type slash n and the transaction that we want to execute VA05 into the command field and run the transaction. See, there is no new window. The system executed the new transaction within the same window. So remember, to execute a transaction in the current window, use the transaction with the slash n prefix. And what if I don't need the list of sales orders transaction anymore? How can I close this session? That's right, we can push that close button up there in the right corner. It's okay, but there is a much faster way to close a session. If the cursor doesn't focus on the command field, first hit the keys Ctrl and slash, then type slash I into the command field and run it. Here we go, the system closed the session where we type the shortcut slash I. So remember, to close the current session, use the shortcut slash I. And what if we are at the end of our day, we finished our task and we want to close our SAP GUI. Here is the receipt. If the cursor doesn't focus on the command field, first hit the keys Ctrl and slash. Then type slash NAND into the command field and then run it. Of course, it will inform you about the unsaved data will be lost and ask you about do you really want to log off. 
If you are sure, then press Yes, otherwise press a No button. If you press a Yes, then the system will close all of your sessions. Now I press a No button because I don't want to log off since I have one more shortcut that I want to show you. The receipt sounds very similar to the previous one. If the cursor doesn't focus on the command field, first hit the keys Ctrl and Slash then type slash next into the command field and then run it. See, all the windows are disappeared, there was no warning message, the system simply closed all the windows in one fell swoop. Alright, that was the cheat sheet to your SAP GUI. I hope it can boost up your work also, just like it did in my case. Although I really like the command field and these shortcuts, but there are many people, including me, who have difficulties with memorizing the tons of transaction codes and these shortcuts or people who simply don't want to struggle with these codes. For them, I have one more approach that can be more efficient than using the standard menu to run transactions. And what is that? Well, this is what I want to show you next, so stay with me.